Now you've been on uh, two panels uh, here regarding health care. Uh, the Galen Institute is, of course, a, is a health care think tank. Um, now, one of them was about how unconstitutional it was, and the other one is about how it's just wrong, which your book is, about, uh, Why Obamacare is Wrong for America. So tell us a little bit about the constitutionality part of it. I, I started my talk yesterday to the, to the main conference about about the many ways in which this law is unconstitutional. People keep talking mostly about the individual mandate. You know, that the federal government telling you that you have to use your private money to buy a private product. Is a Chevy Volt mandate next? I mean, that's really what the Supreme Court is considering. But there are so many other ways in which this law is unconstitutional. The mandate on the states to dramatically expand their Medicaid budgets to the point that many of them say that's going to that's going to mean they don't have money for schools, for transportation, for public safety. But it's a mandate from the government. That's a Tenth Amendment violation. We see this new independent payment. Advisory Board, 15 technocrats appointed by the president with no recourse to the voters that have control over hundreds of millions, hundreds of billions of dollars in Medicaid, Medicare spending to basically ration care. That's powers that the Constitution gave to Congress to appropriate money. And then, of course, the religious liberty issue, which has just exploded over the last several weeks. Which has also been very prominent in this in the CPAC. That issue has been very spoken about a lot here. So how does health care, the health care bill itself, um, you know, other than the contraception issue, are there other ways in which it violates civil liberties? Oh, absolutely. And I think that the, the, su- the Supreme Court can't help but hear this. I mean, the, the, the violation of the Constitution is in the very DNA of this law. I mean, it is, there's so many ways of, of our constitutional liberties, our, our, our rights are violated by this law, and it's because the, in the fabric of it, it's basically saying government knows the best, not the people. The government's going to decide, make life and death decisions for you because these technocrats know better than we do what's good for us. The whole fiber of it is against the Constitution. And this this religious liberty issue, it's about so much more than whether the Catholic Church is going to be required to provide contraceptive, abortion patient, sterilization under penalty of federal law. It's really about separation of church and state. It's about, it's about who's next? How do you feel like the, the bill itself hurts the poor uh, in the United States in general. That, that's such an important point. I mean, this whole issue with the Catholic Church, one of the reasons that some Catholics and prominent Catholics supported it, because they said, well, we're going to get to universal coverage. Well, we're not. First of all, 23 million people, according to the best estimates, are still going to be uninsured. But even worse, we are expanding through Obamacare the worst health care program in the country. Medicaid, the program for lower income Americans, is a ghetto of a program. It pays doctors and hospitals so little that people have to go to emergency rooms to get their care and wait for six hours. We're now going to have 87 million people on that program. What's that going to do? It means that a lot of middle class people, middle income people, are going to be on Medicaid. If you are poor and have no other options, not that your employer has dropped your coverage, you have no other options. You're going to be now competing with tens of millions more people for those very few doctors who will see a Medicaid patient. It's it, getting fewer and farther between. The, the chief of medicine at Johns Hopkins University said if they passed this before they did, and of course they did, he said, please don't do this. We cannot take care of the Medicaid patients we have now, right. much less tens of millions more. So it is going to hurt the very, it's going to hurt seniors. Sure. This bill, this law is going to cut payments to doctors down below Medicaid rates right. for Medicare. Seniors are now going to be in that same line trying to find a doctor who will see them because they're now being paid less than Medicaid rates. This law simply cannot stand, and it's going to bankrupt our country in the process, ruin our health care system, bankrupt our country, violate the Constitution, and hurt the most vulnerable people in our country. How 
can we possibly let this stand? Why Obamacare is wrong for America? That's the name of the book, correct? Okay. Um, so uh, how's that been going? So I know you were signing some books earlier. Did you have fun doing that? We do. It's available on Amazon, available at any online bookstores, in your real bookstores. Uh, Why Obamacare is Wrong for America. It really does lay out the impact of this law on families and young people and senior citizens, doctors and patients, employers, all of us. Healthcare affects all of us. And we need to know in advance if the Supreme Court upholds part of the law, all of the law, we have to know what's in this so we can know how to stop this freight train. The the last recourse is going to be the November election. Uh, I know that the elections are important, but as far as just changing the message and and, um, and, and, and trying to make sure that we move back in the right direction when it comes to health care, uh, what, what can we do as, as normal humans who don't you know, have the power to run for Congress. We actually have a chapter in our book, What Can You Do to Stop Obamacare, with 15 different recommendations. So people need to buy the book to find out what that is. But the most important thing is for people to be uninformed, to really understand. They know they hate Obamacare, but then you often ask them, why? I don't really know. I just know I hate Obamacare. Well, find out why that is. We have a lot of top 10 lists of why you should hate this. $500 billion in cuts to Medicare, this new independent payment advisory board, the mandate to the states that's going to bankrupt, and the individual mandate, the employer mandate. Right. You know, you could just go on and on and on. You need to be able to talk with your friends, write letters to the editor, call into talk shows, talk to your local business groups and, and community groups, inform other people so that they don't get lulled into thinking, oh, maybe it wasn't so bad. Right. This is a terrible law that will change our country. It must be stopped. No questions. It's a great way to end it. Thanks so much. I heard an amen. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> Thanks so much. Really enjoyed having you. Always a pleasure. We're here at CPAC, acnation.com. Grace Marie Turner, why Obamacare is wrong for America.